SU Law School alum Joseph R. Biden Jr. became the 46th president of the United States when he was sworn into office Wednesday morning. Biden is joined in the White House by California Senator Kamala Harris, who is the first person of color, Asian American, and female to be elected vice president. Inauguration, they look different this year when Biden and Harris took the oath of office on Capitol Hill. Washington, D.C. was fortified with tall fences and National Guardsmen because of national security threats, and the streets were empty due to the pandemic. Public officials urged Americans to stay home this year. Uh, I want to reiterate my request to, to Americans uh, to enjoy this 59th inauguration of the President of the United States and the Vice President of the United States um, from home. Traditionally, Inauguration Day morning is headlined by the outgoing president and first lady greeting the incoming president and spouse at the White House. In a rare decision, President Donald Trump became the first president since Andrew Johnson in 1869 to skip the ceremony. The inaugural ball, dinners, and receptions were also scrapped or moved to a virtual setting. However, the swearing-in ceremony took place but was filled with mask-wearing and socially distanced politicians and presidential families. As the 20th Amendment of the United States Constitution states, the president and vice president were sworn in just before noon and officially began their term. In a time of uncertainty, President Biden said before Wednesday that he was not concerned about security and health issues surrounding the events. Um, I'm not afraid of taking the oath outside, and we've been getting brief. After taking the oath of office, Biden addressed the nation and talks about uniting the country. Following the ceremony, a primetime celebration followed with performances and speeches and closed out this unprecedented inauguration day. Reporting in Florida, Benjamin Schiller, Citrus TV News.